John Leon with Coach John Garrett. Thank you, Gary. Uh, Coach, uh, heard Mike Joseph talking about it. Uh, complimentary football, so critical, so important. Uh, one facet of the game showed up today, but you had struggled in the other two, I think. Well, really, it's a trick play and an interception return for a touchdown, and it's 14 nothing. So all plays are not the same, and uh, they can impact the game. So the way our team battled uh, on defense to stop this, this team, Really proud of their effort, and the way we move the ball on offense, really proud of our effort, but uh, just a couple plays can turn it and uh, uh, and obviously to their side. Exactly, and you get behind against a team like Colgate. Let's give credit where it's due. Uh, for my money, I think that's one of the better teams, at least fundamentally, in the trenches that we faced all year. Well, they are good on in, in all phases, and, and our kids really battled, and I'm really proud of their effort, and uh, the game was right there in the balance, and there's just a couple of plays uh, knocked it in their favor. It did. It got away from us quickly but coach uh, you've been preaching to us all year long about the rear view mirror and this will be your first foray into the week uh, for the game uh, have fun with it enjoy it and we all look forward to next week well it's going to be it's going to be a great game and it's always a, a great week uh, uh, everybody's always talking about it and preparing me for it and these Colgate guys about 12 of them came up oh, to me yeah. and says go beat those Lehigh so we'll, we'll try to get that done well there's no question there's a little bit of a cherry on top of this Sunday if we can spoil it for the uh, Mountain Hawks go get them coach all right thank you very much you got it Gary Michael back to you guys all right John thank you very much we'll be back and take a look at the game highlights we'll make some final comments and then john frank stubitz and john leon will wrap this one up final score 27 nothing colgate we are back we welcome you back this is the post game show we're glad uh, you are with us for that and we like to take a look at some of the highlights, and uh, Mike Joseph always takes us through those highlights. Here's Mike. Well, the game was so close, right? You're kind of back and forth up front, a couple punts here and there. Lafayette put some great pressure on the freshman quarterback. This one was called progress stop, not a fumble. So Lafayette took over on a punt, and then a big play here that resulted in basically about 50 yards. It was a 33-yard run and then a 15-yard penalty against uh, Ramsey, and then it resulted in a reverse to Owen Rocket. So right away, 7-0. It was uh, uh, a few punts back and forth, and Colgate took that early lead. So again, tough with empty possessions. Lafayette's defense played well. But then this play right here actually got Alex Winooski thrown out of the game. It was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet targeting call, a good call right there. A couple plays later, you see Colgate's quarterback again. The freshman take it in, 14-0 lead. And at the 14-0 lead, this game was really in the balance, as John Garrett kind of alluded to. Some good movement by the freshman quarterback. Gets the ball down inside the 35-yard line. But then this play off the back foot, intercepted right there. It just kind of went right into the hands of Gardner. And then that resulted Lafayette's defense again stepped up, caused a field goal. Lafayette moved the football, like John Garrett said. Here or there, a, a high snap caused this field goal to be blocked. It was run back by Casillas. And again, the Lafayette's defense stepped up. It was a 20-0 lead at that point. And then Sean O'Malley, I think the wheels came off for him a little bit. Got a little antsy with the feet. He threw that ball into traffic again. That was returned for a touchdown. So, again, a few plays here and there. John Leon always talks about it. But I go back to the 14-0 lead. The interception kind of took the wind out of the sails of the Leopards. And this show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today and by Coca-Cola. Experience the Coke side of the life. Grant Brenneman, 5 for 17. A couple of interceptions, 94 yards. And Sean O'Malley threw 48 passes today. 29 for 48 with 195 yards, but he also threw three interceptions. James Holland with 94 yards rushing the football, the leading rusher for Lafayette, C.J. Emile with just 11 yards. So the Leopards continue to struggle running the football on offense with just 18 rushing yards uh, on the day, and that has been a nemesis for them all year long. So Michael will get ready for Lafayette Lehigh, and... Uh, We'll get pumped up and hope maybe we can uh, fulfill Colgate's wishes. Well, it's a special week. It's always a special week. You and I have so much fun with it. It becomes a special week on Ready. the hill. The kids get excited about it. It's at Lehigh this year. You know what? It's just a phenomenal atmosphere, uh, and so many of us have been involved with it. We're lucky to be involved with a game like that at the end of the year. All right, John and John Frank Stubitz are down on the field. Mike and I will see you next Saturday afternoon at 1230. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Michael, for your usual great job. It's uh, always fun listening to you. And, you know, uh, John Frank, uh, I, did, I wanted to say this to Coach uh, Garrett going out. Uh, I didn't want to sound silly or, or glib about it, but 
it's the kind of game where you look at the score and hearing him say it, I, I'm sorry I didn't say it to him because the game for a while, it just felt a little closer than that final score might have indicated. A couple plays here or there could have changed it. Well, it was the turnovers in the second half. I mean, I think if you look at this game play by play, you know, they really did a good job of moving the ball down the field offensively. And halftime, we talked about taking a couple shots down the field. They did that. They loosened up the defense. But then they came back and turned the ball over. And you got to eliminate those turnovers if you want to be, if you want to be in the game. And, and when you talk about complementary football, of course, you're talking about the three phases, offense, defense, special teams. But even on offense, you need complementary football. You need to be able to balance the run and the pass. And it's very difficult to beat a team like Colgate when your total yardage rushing is 18 yards. Yeah, and that's been the story all year long. Uh, you've got to be able to run the ball, especially when you get to this point in the season. And Colgate did, the, did that very well. They ran the ball, and that's why they're still on the hunt for the championship. Well, the other thing I said to Coach Garrett, he's been so good at it all year long of next man up, next play up, look forward, don't look backward. John Frank, I'm going to ask you, I asked you in the open about uh, senior day, those experiences. Talk about Lehigh Week. What's the week like as you're getting ready uh, to play the most played college football rivalry in the country? Yeah, I get goosebumps when you just say that. And uh, they've got to put this behind them, but next week is a whole new season. And that week... There's going to be a lot of hype, and again, you got to be able to focus. But the adrenaline takes care of itself. Like, like I said, you can. You, I remember what the air smelled like. I remember what it tastes like. I remember the energy. And these coaches are going through this for the first time, and some of these players know what this is about. And it's going to be. It's a real exciting week. It's uh, it's such an experience, and uh, we will all be there. We hope that you will join us as well. It's always a little special, and you know I've always said this. Uh, what makes a rivalry special are the similarities, not the differences. So for for all we talk about uh, the proximity geographically, the similarities academically, um, it's it, the relationships that come from this game. I'm sure you probably have some from the guys you played against over there. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, I, I still talk to a lot of the guys that we played against. I play basketball, you know, with uh, Anthony Graziani on Sunday mornings, and we still, you know, we jaw about this game. So it's a lot of fun, not only for the guys on the field, but we still have a lot of fun with it off the field, too. Well, we'll be there. We hope you'll join us again for the big one next week. For us, for uh, Gary, for Michael, for everybody in the RCN team, we'll see you next week for Lafayette Lehigh.